Hey guys, this is Tyson with the Sportsman's Project. Just wanted to bring you another knife review. This is the Sog Fusion Double Action. Uh, it's a knife and a saw. I bought this uh, about a year and a half ago for hunting season. And uh, I needed a knife that uh, was a large knife. Uh, well, medium sized knife, I guess you would say. Uh, and I also needed a saw and this worked perfectly because it was two in one. I didn't have to carry two different tools, uh, a big knife and a big saw, you know. Uh, this is all in one. You can put it right on your belt with this sheath. Me, I just throw it in my backpack. Uh, usually, you don't need to reach for it that quickly if you're in the woods. What I use this knife for mainly is the saw, really. Um, very few times have I actually used the blade. Uh, the saw uh, gets rid of those pesky little branches that you run into when you're climbing up, climbing up a tree uh, with your tree stand. Uh, this can make short work of those. Uh, get them out of the way, quiet, you don't have to be hacking with a big old knife to try to remove those branches. That's what I love about this thing. Um, so, uh, on to the blade and the saw material, it's made out of 440A steel. It's a clip, it's a uh, clip point blade uh, with uh, serrations, which comes in handy. Uh, this, this blade is not, <laughs> it did not pass the cardboard test very well. Um, I actually went a couple times. I'm not the greatest sharpener in the world, but, um, after sharpening uh, the best to the best of my ability and going back out to the cardboard it still did not uh, last very long uh, very quickly uh, it started slowing down on the cardboard as you can see it was just giving me a rough time but the saw on the other hand really works uh, much better but um you know if you needed to do some hacking and stuff with this blade you could you could do it it's not the best knife for that but you could do it uh, good defensive blade if anything um, the overall length of this knife is 10 inches the blade itself is 4.75 and so is the saw. The saw is probably actually a little bit longer because if you flip it over uh, you cannot push it all the way down in the sheath it'll uh it'll stop before it goes in. The sheath is nice. It is it's built very well. Uh, you can get the knife nice and tight. Uh, it's not coming out. I wish this was a a button though, not velcro. I don't like anything velcro with me while I'm hunting. It just makes way too much noise. If you have a button you can just kinda unsnap it anytime. It's not that loud. Velcro Man, it just sounds loud when you're in a tree stand in the woods and nothing's making a sound and you hear that Velcro, <laughs> it sounds like somebody's blowing a foghorn. Um, but anyways, uh, I like this knife. It suits the purpose that I, I purchased it for, mainly the saw, uh, but it's nice to have that blade. Basically, and the way you switch is it has a little button release in here. Uh, you can probably see it if I move that out of the way. You just click this button down, and it flips the blade out, and those it goes right through that hole. It has a pin, goes snaps right in. Can't even tell, and uh, you never really have to worry about it uh, folding out on you, uh, because when you're holding it, you're actually pushing the pin further in. So it's it's not there's no way that pin's coming out, only if it breaks, which I doubt very strongly that would happen. Uh, it has steel liners on the inside uh, for that pin to lock into. And uh, other than that, it's a very good knife. I like it. I take it with me every hunt. And uh, hope you all like it too. See you all later.